Who are you then? Uh, right, this is the energy bus for the National Energy Foundation, um, based in Milton Keynes. And as you can see, we've got our photovoltaic array on the roof and our wind generator. And we're here to give advice to people at the festival about how they can um, incorporate renewable energy into their, into their homes. We have examples of solar fountains down there and um, solar alarms, solar radios. And uh, there are application forms for people to fill in um, for any kind of uh, information they, they would like. Is this mainly domestic for domestic people? Yes, it's mainly domestic. Yeah. Um, so how much power could they expect from a solar panel? Is there a lot of that? Is it? But you've got enough power for, for charging a radio. Yes, that, I mean that radio that he's playing with over there, you can either wind it up if there's no sun, or there's, there's a little solar panel on the top which will, which will run the radio if it's a sunny day. Yeah, there's a sign there that says a solar bike. Yeah. What's that? Um, well, there's solar panels on the back of the bike, and uh, you can click a little a little button on the handlebars, and, and they will kick in, and they will help you get up hills. It won't, it won't take you along very very quickly with just with the solar panels. You have to you have to put your own energy in as well. Right. But it will certainly help you get up hills. That's why I get those. Hello, who have we here then? Um, I'm Rosemary Cook and I'm from the Energy Efficiency Advice Centre. We're based in Bedfordshire in um, the Dunstable Council offices. But we cover the whole of Bedfordshire, including Luton. Um, and we, today we have, um, we've set up here with the National Energy Bus to show to show um, different ways to save energy and money. Um, basically, our organisation is a direct response um, to the 1992 Rio summit in which all the governments, um, most governments, had um, made a commitment, commitment yeah. to um, <laughs> Right. Yeah. Just carry on, I'll cut it. <laughs> they were going to try and save energy. All the governments um, at the moment yeah. are committed to saving energy and saving CO2 emissions. Right. Um, part of our job, in fact, the, the basis of our job, is to get out into the community um, with different organisations and tell different people how they can, how they can achieve this. They can, they can certainly achieve this in their own homes by um, doing things like changing light bulbs for a low energy light bulb, which would just use um, a fifth of the energy of the yeah. ordinary light bulb, and you can save up to as much as £10 a year by using one of these light bulbs. Yeah, that's good. What about CO2 though? Is that more to do with the cars or something like that you drive? Or? Well, in actual fact, um, our homes produce a quarter of the um, total amount of CO2 emissions. So by all of us being aware of what we can do, um, we can all we can all make a, um, a significant difference. Right. Okay, so what's this then? Uh, Luton and South Bedfordshire councils have, um, are running a scheme for discounted um, loft insulation and cavity wall insulation. These are for homeowners, um, the people that cannot get things on benefits and um, finding it hard to meet the, the costs that are involved. So there are big savings that they can achieve. 
by um, using one of these vouchers. It's called the Ben the Bear Scheme and by phoning 0800 512 012, which is a free phone number, I can send out these vouchers from our office. Yeah, that's great, thanks. And they can come and collect them here at the stand today. Right. <laughs> Hello, who have we got here then? Right, we've got Diverse FM here. Diverse FM is an initiative of Golden Millennium Project, which is set up by a group of young people from Peripark area of Luton. It's a community radio coming up from 1st of September. It's for 28 days. It's, it's going to be broadcast on 107.7 FM. Luton, Dunstable and Houghton Bridges. The idea of Diverse FM is to give the local voluntary groups an opportunity to promote the work they do and themselves. Also give opportunities to local young DJs or just young people, young presenters to come and just, uh, just try out their skills. Yeah, so how would they learn how to do the DJ? Well, we've been providing training for the last couple of months. So we've got uh, lots of young people like this kids from local schools, for example, of the school is this. Eaglin school's got about 40 children. Yeah, so we've been training, provide, providing training with the help of the, the hospital radio. We've set up a radio as well. I mean, we set up a training in like a mini studio just to provide training in from Luton Lives. And this Diverse FM is, by the way, supported by Luton Lives Health Action Zone, Italy Youth Association, which is a partner group of the Diverse FM, and the Opportunities Fund. So, if, if some other youngster wanted to join in, where would they go to? Just contact Luton Lives, 28A Chapel Street, Luton, or they can ring Italy Youth Association on 725-029, 725-029. Also, if any voluntary groups want to come and talk about the work they do, if they just want to promote their work to the whole of the community in Luton and on Shulman and Houghton Bridges, they can all contact us or Luton Lives and they can come and they can talk about their work they do. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Hello there. What's this stall? This is a Learning for Life stall. Um, it's basically... Uh... It's right. Don't worry, we can cut that bit. Right, I can cut that. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> yeah. Right. Start against that? Yeah, go on then. Learning for Life. Right. Well, Learning for Life, we provide um, added guidance within the community. And it's basically to support community, who, community members who are unemployed, looking for opportunities such as work, training, uh, educational courses. Um, we have different funders who support us in terms of providing service. And it's also ESF funded as well. What's that? ESF funded. What's ESF? Uh, funding from the European Social Fund. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> an office also called the head office in Bedford. Uh, we've got a Luton office based in the Luton Central Library and we do a lot of outreach work going to different parts of the community and uh, helping a lot of people. So what, in what way is it different to say all the local colleges? I mean, or, well, the or, local are you... colleges are statutory organisations. Yeah. We are, you could say, a voluntary non-profit making organisation supporting different communities within the Luton area. Uh, the service is free of charge and people visit us for informal chat, formal chat and decide what they want to do. So they might visit you before they went to a, on a course or something? Well, that's like. right, yeah. So they find information, understand what's available, what they need to do. So we kind of guide them, you could say, we give them information. Um, depending on the ability of what they want to do, etc. And does it matter what age they are? Well, the project is basically funded for people or members of the community who are looking for opportunities. 
the age of 19 onwards. Right. Obviously, like different funding, that's how, that's how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, great, thanks. Thank you very much. So, um, what's this stall then? This stall is the Luton Library. I service all around Luton for children and adults. Our main library is situated in Central Library, whereas we have smaller libraries spread all around Luton. Um, is, it, is this specially for children or is it for any ages? All ages, adults, all age pensioners, children, right. everything. Is it, is it just to encourage reading books or is it to encourage, teach actually reading? Well, it encourages people to read books. We have IT facilities available as well, internet access, and we have a reference library. So th this is the Asian Cookery Club. Yes. What do you do then? Oh, we promote it. Um, we do promote, you know, uh, five fruits. We should eat five fruits in a day. All right, five yeah. fruits in a day. Five fruits in a day, yeah. For what? So this food is made by Sainsbury. That's very so good. Is there anything special about Asian people and Asian cookery then? Yeah, of course, uh, Asian people suffer from high diabetes, yeah. heart stroke, heart stroke, all these things. Uh, we should cut down on fat. Yeah. Right, so we should cut down on fat. We should eat more fruit and vegetable, at least five foods in a day. Great, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, who's Oakdale Mums and Pots Acorns? We are a drop-in centre that runs from the Berry Park Community Centre every Wednesday morning and it's for the mums and any children up to about under fives. Um, we do a lot of uh, interesting things, we have special times for the kids. We've been running about seven years now and we do activities for the mums and um, anybody that wants to come along is welcome. So what sort of activities well, do you we do? We do handy, dollar handicrafts for the children and for the mums and we do circle and story time, we do singing and of course we have the open play time, we play with the, the games, we use a lot of play-doh, um, all these things that the kids like. And we're so on for about an hour and a half every Wednesday. Is it like a play school? It's something like a play school, yeah. But it's, it's, for, it's for the mums to come with their, their little ones too. And, um, it gives mums a chance to get together and have a chat over a cup of coffee and um, it gives the kids just a chance for the children to be out somewhere, you know, they enjoy. So you're St John's Ambulance, what yes. are you doing here today? Um, we have been in, invited along here today to look after the first aid needs of uh, the general public that are going to be attending the street festival. Um, as you know, St John Ambulance, we appear at lots and lots of different venues covering all sorts of first aid duties. Um, and they've just asked us here today to look after anything that may happen or may hopefully not happen just to keep everybody safe and contented, really. Right, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's this stall? Uh, on track. On track? And what are you going to do with all these balloons? It's all water and uh, my dog there. 
Can I can I pop them? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is Socialist Alliance. This is the Socialist Alliance, uh, and we have a stall down here this uh, today. Uh, Socialist Alliance stood a candidate against uh, in the uh, general election. Um, if you look at our literature, our literature says we're actually an alternative to the Labour Party, a socialist alternative to the Labour Party, because we don't believe that uh, the Labour Party has socialist principles anymore. So we stood a candidate to actually give a socialist alternative. Uh, we have various leaflets on the stall opposing privatisation in schools, hospitals, fire service and various um, various other organisations that uh, the Labour government are proposing to, to introduce privatisation into. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> So what's Jigsaw Play School then? Jigsaw Preschool. Preschool, sorry. Yeah. Is that for youngsters? Yeah, yeah. three to five year olds. <laughs> Promote myself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, we can just do a duo and just team up. Yes. <laughs> so what do you do with these youngsters? Um, teach. <laughs> my name's watching the cakes. <laughs> no money. Up front. What time is your start, Hoga? No loans. Music. What time is that music? Sorry? Uh, what do you want? Pound each. Oh, no. 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 What sort of service is it? Community service, community service. Yeah. So, is it done by a committee or? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what sort of services do you cover? Do you do? Well, you tell me what they are, because I don't know what you do. Move back a bit. Providing a range of caring services. Yep. Okay, well that's it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, is there any other services? Oh yes, we run uh, training courses for Asian women and men who care their own disabled relatives in their own homes, in health and social care, food hygiene, first aid, moving and lifting, and IT, in Urdu, Punjabi and English. How do you run it then? We have, we have been running for the uh, last three years, and uh, this is the fifth course we are going to start. Four batches have already qualified, they have got uh, the certificate from the Barfield College and East England University to care for their immediate care. Very good, thank you. <laughs> So what's this store here then? Uh, this is Housing Benefit and Council Tax uh, Office. Yeah. I mean all this information relating to Housing Benefit and Council Tax. We are from Port Dunstable Road. So you're part of the council? We are part of yeah, the council. All yeah. oh, right. That's okay. I'm sure you were. 
Shot of him with his badge on. <laughs> so yeah, mainly by a bicycle about benefits then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what are these then? Sorry? What are these? Alright, that's for chorus. Uh, an onion party. It's a chaat, chana, chana chaat, and vegetable smosa. Are these Indian? Yeah, yeah. all is Indian, Indian food. Yeah. Spicy. <laughs>
work together, give everybody, give other people the respect and re the respect that is due to us here ourselves. Without any further, this event has been organised by the Berry Park Street Festival Association and funded by donations and sponsorship from local businesses. As I said, it is a worthy partnership businesses working within the community for the community. The street festival takes place on an annual basis and relies heavily on local business donations. And it is nice to see that there is a community spirit as donation and sponsorships have been readily forthcoming. The Festival Association would like to thank all its sponsors and all the volunteers without whom the festival would not be possible. Weeks of hard work and dedication behind the scenes have made today possible. I hope you all enjoy the day and show your support to the Festival Association throughout the coming year so that further festivals can be arranged. I hereby now declare... <laughs> We have time, we have time, we don't worry. Right. Are we right? It gives me great pleasure to now by declare this festival open. Please, everybody, enjoy Thank you very much. So what's your name? Applejack. And the and the doggy? Shaggy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Basically, we two are designers. Right, you design your own clothes? Yeah, we, no, we're professional designers. But somehow we uh, ended up in Luton. So we thought, you know, we might you know, do something. So we start doing this wedding wear and some party wear. And 
then we, uh, our client asked for materials as well. So we brought the material in as well. And it's mostly silk, is it? Uh, it is silk. Silk plus other materials as well. Then, then we do embroidery. We've got some very nice embroidered suit inside. You can see later. Uh, we do everything, so sort of brassy saris and brassy suits and The name Silk Root for the shop, for the fabric, and our label called the Rose, which we do for the Western wear. Because I was working for some Western companies in London. Yes. Well, that's really good. Thank you very much. Yeah, cheers. You're welcome. <laughs>